Hello everyone, Amy here again. In the last video, I have teached you how to use the CAN Tour Headboard BL Host Computer to install it firmware. In this video, I will teach you how to use the RHT36 board to install it firmware through USB. I will ask the reference link in the introduction. Okay, let's start the preparatory work now. A Jiminy motherboard, RHT36 board, Wi-Fi connector, SD card, two pieces, connectors of Type C USB. Okay, first we need to insert the SD card. Yes, here. Okay, and then insert the Wi-Fi connector into the motherboard. Okay, let's then use the Type C USB to connect the computer to power on. Yes. Yes, it is over here. Connect the computer. Yes. Okay. Now let's enter the mobile interface to accompany the firmware. First, we need to log in the Flight Gemini interface. We can write our ID here and choose our Wi Fi. Yes, okay. Okay, here we need to write our password. Yes, it will not appear, but we need to press enter. Yes, cancel. Okay, now we are entering the Flight Gemini interface and we need to go to the Clipper Enter directory. Enter CD Clipper and the price enter. And now we need to enter Make Me. It will pop up a window to display the Clipper Communication Configuration Interface. Here, select Raspberry Pi RP2040. Yes, click OK and we choose the following communication interface in USB is correct. Now we need press Q and Y for save. And now we enter make. Yes, and press enter to confirm the compilation. We need to wait for a few minutes. Okay, the compilation is successful now. After compilation, we need to start USB install mode. We use Type-C cable to connect the RHT36 with motherboard. Yes. Insert here. Yes, now we need to insert the USB Type-C to the motherboard to connect the RHT36 board. Then it is power on now. Okay. Now I will demonstrate the board that has been installed. Let's start with the first step. Let's copy this one. Yes. Go to the mobile interface. Yes. Paste it. Then we need to replace this zero port first. Let's open our ID. Yes. 
9999 Wait Okay Our zero pot is this one We need to copy it Yes And uh, paste it here And OK And the price enter We yes, our this part has previously installed the Clipper USB firmware, so we only directly install from here. There need wait for a few minutes, and wait. The contents shown in the above figure will be installed successful. Now it is success. It is here, yes. It's installed successfully. Now we will con configure our HT36. First, we need to open those two links. Yes, fly Gemini net. And the fly Gemini. Fluidy interface. If those two nicks cannot be open, you can replace Flight Gemini with the IP address of your own motherboard. Now, click our website and click the sample. Yes, example configuration. We just need to copy it. Yes, copy. And go to the configuration and the printer CFG and we need to find a place to paste here and also this one serial port we need to change to our serial port ID yes it is okay change Yes, replace it and reset and restart. Okay, now and wait for a few minutes. At last, no error is reported here. Yes, now it's okay. And we go to here and we can check the R8236 is temperature is displayed on the page. Then it is right now. Yes, that's all for today. I hope it will help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.